Hello, Game Kit community. If you, like me, were upset about Josh's recent update about a particular uh, third party EdTech platform that is no longer playing nice with GimKit and want to do something about it, uh, or at least still leverage those features, I created here a hack spreadsheet that will still allow you to do what was originally done. Uh, it just takes a couple of extra steps. Let me walk you through it. So here's the spreadsheet with instructions. Here is my Quizlet that I would like to import into GimKit. All right, so the first thing I need to do is get that code. And I'm gonna export, triple dots, export, and then I'm gonna do a tab delineated rather than comma, because sometimes you'll have commas in the, uh, in the question. We don't want those commas to get confused with the delineation. So I'm gonna do tab, and then leave between rows as new line, and I'm gonna copy text just like before. All right, in my spreadsheet, if you go to the paste from Quizlet section, you're gonna to go to A2 and you're going to edit, paste special, uh, values only. Or it's command shift V, or if you are on a PC, that's control shift V. And you should see that now you have one side is the questions and one side is the answers or vice versa. You need to say which one is which because sometimes depending upon how the Quizlet was created, uh, one side might be questions, one side might be answers. So up in the headers, determine what you want that to be. So I want my question to be this longer text and I want my answer choices to be these vocab words, like so. Okay, from here you can fine tune and edit your questions. So I'm gonna, this one's kind of long. I'm gonna get rid of the second part here. Uh, I see that these three words don't have questions associated to them. So I can either write a question to them or I can just delete them all together. Uh, I'll just delete them. But the crucial part of it is that you need to have an answer for every question. Otherwise my formulas don't work. All right, so here we see that I have questions and I have answers. Um, and then if I go to the Verify Quizlet, GimKit Answers, I should now see, just by um, some spreadsheet magic and some different formulas and things, uh, that I have my question here, my correct answer is here, and then using columns of formulas, which I've hidden to the right of E, I now have these answer choices being the distractors to the correct answer, and they don't repeat. Took me a while, but I figured it out. So, for example, the correct answer is desert, and you see that desert is not one of the options here. Instead, it pulls from the remaining sections here, and you should see that it verifies that all the way down. Right. If, for whatever reason, you see that it's not lining up right, uh, just verify that you've selected your answers here. All right, I shouldn't be question, question, because that's gonna confuse things, right? Um, you need to have answers for every question. Uh, also make sure you don't have any blanks like I mentioned before. For example, if I have something here, now you see that my answer choices aren't randomized, right? Because I have a mismatch to my questions and answers. But once you have them equal, then you should see that this looks correct. And then this information is pulled automatically into the export GimKit sheet, which is what GimKit requires in order to pull uh, information from a CSV directly into GimKit. And all these are formulas. Don't edit any of these. Good. Because again, these are just formulas that are pulling from the Verify Quizlet. Uh, you won't need to edit anything within this Verify Quizlet sheet as well. You do all of your work from the Paste from Quizlet sheet here. The only thing you might need to do is right now, this is limited to 100 rows. Okay. But let's say I have more than 100. Okay, you'll see that now I don't have any answer choices for the ones that are past 100. So all you'll need to do is copy the formulas in this, in this row 100, uh, A through C, just copy them down. So by doing that, I'm gonna select 100 or A100, B100 and C100 all at once, and then just drag the blue square down to the last question that you have, like so and it'll copy that formula for the randomized answers into the uh, export. Okay. All 
All right, so the last step is to export from here directly into GimKit. And to do that, I'm gonna go to my Export GimKit Sheet, and then File, Download, Comma Separated Values. Comma Separated Values is like a generic version of an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheet. Comma Separated Values. So now I see that's downloaded. All right, in GimKit, I can either create a new kit. Here I've already created one, I'm just gonna edit it. So uh, using the new GimKit editor, where you can pull from anywhere, right, which is wonderful, I'm now going to import from a spreadsheet. And this uh, instruction is the same one we just did about how to download as comma separated values. I'm now gonna upload my file from my download section here. And if everything works correctly, I now have questions with the correct answers and the distractors like so. And so from here, if you need to edit any of them, great. You can finish your kit, add some images, and away you go. So Josh, hope this helps GimKit community. Hope this helps. Um, and until things get better, at least here's a workaround for you. This is Bob from Wamstech. As always, thanks for watching.